Hello and welcome to the Flipped Classroom. We're going to be introducing you to this concept in class and we will use the Information Index card as an easy example of how you should do your homework and approach your preparation for our instructional media class. So the first thing we're going to have you do is to fill out an Information Index card. You can choose to use either the blank side or the lined side of the index card. This is completely up to you. This card allows me to have a picture of you and vital information in order to contact you um, in case something comes up during the semester. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the index card. So the index card you will see includes places for your picture, your full name, course name, section number, your Gmail address, your phone number, and at the end of the card we do have a disclosure statement. This statement tells me that you've not only read the syllabus, that you, but that you don't have any questions. I also require a signature and uh, the date that you signed it. You will bring that into my office before your next class so that I can stick you into my system, put you into the email system, and have you filed. I am able, when I'm talking to you on Google Chat or when I'm sending emails, I'm able to look at your picture as I write to you. This helps me have a better idea of who I'm working with and gives me an idea of who's putting in that extra effort to have questions answered, and so it's a great tool for me. So first, let's get started by talking about the image. So you will include an image of yourself, and it doesn't have to be a glamour shot, and it doesn't have to be a high school graduation picture. It can be an image that a friend of yours took on her iPhone, or it can be something you find off of Facebook. You will print that out for me. Um, black and white is fine and you will cut it out and paste it onto your index card. Now the index cards are available in my office. You can come by and pick one up. I will also have them on the first day of class, so that is up to you. Now we're going to walk through this even though it's a really simple concept, and you could probably figure it out on your own, but we will walk through it so that you understand how this approach to teaching will go. So you will enter in your full name, and that is both the name that you are registered under, and then if you have a nickname, please include that as well. You will include your course number, so either you are EDEL 3250, or you will be EDSC 3250, so put that in there. And then you will include a section number. You will include your Gmail email address, and the videos for doing this are available on your Canvas website walk yourself through that process. It's an easy process. Then you will include your cell phone number if you have a cell phone and let me know if you're able to receive texts. So just put yes or no next to the phone number. If you do not have a cell phone then give me a landline number and note that on the card as well. Then you're going to write a long-handed I have read, understand, and agree to the course syllabus. Sign your name and date it. This is all you need to do for your information index card. Now, if you have questions, just re-listen to this podcast, and it'll help you walk you through that process. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Today